Ah! Whoa! What? Oh no! Yeah! <laughs> you son of a bitch! Hello everybody, Grace Still Plays, and we're back with more of the Solus Project. No time for BS, we're in this little room here, and we have a forward vector, and that's better than nothing. It's better than a lot of what we've been dealing with recently. We also have this cold ball, which is basically single-handedly keeping me alive. Oh god! And every time, you know, they put this crap in the in the shadows on purpose. I'm pretty sure of this at this point. Man, this is a big ass room. Holy crap, I don't even know which way to start. Oh, there's a lot of little traps over here. Let's go this way. And what is this? This is the Ultima Crystal of Great Coldness. I do appreciate the Ultima Crystal of Great Coldness. Man, this goes way up. Well, oh, there's like, there's like gears going on in here. All right, well, damn it. I hate to use it, but I got to use my flashlight just for a little minute. Just to kind of take a quick gander at what's going on. You can see there looks like there's a room over there too. Now, the room is closed. So that means that we are forced to go forward with our delicious portable AC unit from Lowe's. Or Home Depot, depending on whatever you have near you. Whatever it is, it's working fantastically. And I highly suggest you have one. In fact, I'm, I, I almost guarantee that if I tried to do this without this little ball, we would be dead by now. So, thank you for that suggestion. Because it is going to allow us to continue our... Oh god, not another anomalous! What?! Take it! Take it. Take what? Oh god. Retrieve an energy source. Oh! Oh! Oh, the angels are singing, guys! Alien living room explore. What's happening? Ah! Whoa! What? Oh no! Yeah! <laughs> you son of a bitch! Oh god! Uh, 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 where in the world do you go? Where do you go from here? There's nothing. There's nothing to explain where we're supposed to be heading. Oh god. Uh, the door is not open! Why would you not be open? God! Is it? Does it have a headlight on it? Alright, come on, buddy. Let's tango! You want a piece of grace, no please? I'll whoop your ass. Upsy daisy! Come on, sprint, damn it! I have no idea where we're going. Up, forward, vector, over there! Okay, um, up the stairs. I guess we'll cheat. Oh, God. Oh, the door's open. Wait, was this door open before? I don't remember. Ah, oh, we're gonna keep moving. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, 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 oh! No! No, I can't see crap! I can't see anything! I can't see anything. Oh, it's gone! It's gone! Oh god, we need something to drink! Too much is happening! What? Was that a- Was that a human- Go back where? Oh god! That was a human- that, that for a second there it sounded like there was a human voice! I don't know if you guys agree with me or not. For just a second, it sounded like there was a human voice. Oh god, it's still 122 degrees over here! Inventory full. Inventory full? Okay, let's eat one of these. There. And let's grab this food so that we fill up our inventory as best we can. We need to find a water source at some point, too. I do want to go through all these because you never know what sort of good things might be there. More food, that's fine. Reminder, your survival is of paramount importance. Yeah. Yeah, I know. 
Continued existence. How is it not colder? We're so far away from the heat sources at this point. Oh, yes. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. In fact, let's grab a little snooze in the 67 degree weather. One hour of sleep. Oh, apparently sleep is not advised. How about now? Advise it, damn it. Okay, fine. Sleep is not advised. We've got an earthquake. Let me wait this out a second because I definitely want to sleep. We need to... Oh, there's some texts over here as well. Okay, let's try it now. All right, screw you. We're not sleeping then. Let's read this. Tracking of time. 20 of 26. Race C7's planet is under threat of obliteration. New laboratory planet identified 97.5% water. Ideal for fragmenting populace. 97%? Holy crap. Tracking of time, 19 to 26. Stop with the earthquakes, I can't read this. New genetic pool discovered in Galaxy Quadrant C. Unprecedented preservation of ancient code. Maybe missing link across the galaxy, across history, species tagged as C7. Are these, are these Sky One's grand genetic splicers or something? Like these guys created a ton of races. Subjects from C7 gathered in Phoenix 8882 moved to new planet in mass. Early stage education support human populace begins selection of social elite among populace to force culture limit uh tests of new experiments performed tracking of time 21 or 26 facilities built in appropriate habitat on selected planet fc 87 enough with the earthquakes guys habitat constructed and energy source developed operation begins yeah see these guys are making like a perfect world to uh, for people to thrive in. That's what's going on here. They're messing around here, guys. Oh, what the hell? What the hell? There's skulls everywhere and all this. What is this? Are these like little pods? Like pods of people? Oh, man. Oh, this is freaky. All right, let's get through all this. Because it's still wickedly hot. In fact, what is this? An energy ball. Oh, that's to power our... Whoa. That's really cool. That's to power our antenna. I know what that is. All right, let's... Jeez. The earthquakes. Wilson, record. Yeah, Wilson. There's some I crazy... I found what I think is an energy source. I don't quite understand it, but it seems to power the machinery here. Hopefully it'll fit into my comms array. It was in a giant fortress inside a volcano. <laughs> it reminds me of some paranoid ramblings I heard back in 20th century history class. Something about an archaeologist in the 1940s finding a metal sphere in a tomb. Classic Cold War paranoia. Anyway, I think this thing was built by the ones who made this fortress and everything on Gwyn's. In all these structures, I've seen evidence of two races. A tribal, primitive race, and a more advanced race who built everything. The advanced race are definitely still here. I think I've seen them. I've definitely seen their spacecraft. I even stood on one. Unless I'm losing my mind. This place is the most impressive structure I've seen yet. But there are no skeletons here. None of the long-headed aliens. Were the more advanced race the ones with the staffs presiding over them? My best guess is that the advanced aliens built everything. Even the smoke serpent, the flying drones, the mechanisms. They were hoarding food here. The lesser dead race was being used for something, I'm sure of it. Were they slaves? Or was the entire planet an experiment? Were they testing something on these people? I'm almost finished. Scan out. Scan out, Wilson. We're getting to the top of this this son of a bee. Holy cow, it's cold up here. Oh god. Get our torch for this. 24 degrees, a little bit better. Heavy winds too, guys. 60 mile an hour winds. It's blaring inside of my headset. This is atmospheric. This is really cool. I share all of the same questions as him. What is going on? Is this an experiment? 
are they trying to help these people? Are they just toying with them? Are they trying to create some sort of elite species? If you read it, it almost sounded like they're like their species got obliterated and they're looking for this elite genetic code just scattered across the galaxy or something and they're like oh we, we found a little bit here and we found a little bit there but i don't know man there's a lot going on what is this imminent starvation we got plenty of food let's grab we'll eat this little plant there we go that should give us a little bit of food and a little bit of water too. Man, now we're going back down. All right. Does this bring us to or from our vector? This brings us to it. Okay, 884 feet as we go down here. And it's still super cold. I know it said this was an ice cave. 44, 42 degrees with our torch out. Ah, a couple more pieces of food. Let's grab this. I'm surprised there's no, well, there wouldn't be any water because it's freezing. If there was any water, it'd be frozen. Okay, let's keep going. Why not? Oh no, there is water, guys. Oh, how lucky is that? Tell me, is this even possible? Can there be water in this kind of climate? It's like negative something. Well, I guess there could be. Okay, let's grab a bunch of drinks of water and let's fill up. I know we have several of these bottles that were empty. Let's go ahead and grab all those. We're gonna need it for sure. I don't even know where we're supposed to be going next. How many other bottles do we have? Are these full of water? Yes, they are. And we have nothing else that's empty. No, we don't. Okay, perfect. Good. Continue onward with this. These icy structures here. Just when you think you're safe, too. Just when you think you're freaking safe. The... Oh. Oh, man. I'm in... No. I'm in the water? There's something over here. There's like a little water pit. This is one of those things where you can fill it up, I think, and you can open up the the bars. Let's do that real fast. I'm not really sure how much water you need to use, so I just keep using the biggest chunk of water. We are heading toward the forward vector, so it looks like this is correct. 1,000... Well, maybe we're not really moving toward the forward vector. Let's keep, let's keep going. Whoa! Whoa, the ice is cracking. All right. There's a mechanism as well. Is it going to open? Yes, sweet. And, and a save point. Oh, that is so good. What we don't have is a sponge plant, and I kind of would have liked it. Operator, cold and wet. I know. This is, this is, ah, the cum area. That sounded absolutely terrible. This is the area where the letters cum exist. <laughs> Let's say it that way. Maybe that sounds slightly better. Okay. Just kind of pedal our way through here. Watch out for all of the various devices that try and stab us and or kill us. Ooh, there's a heat area here. You can pump up our our heat just, just a little bit. We're at 96.4 degrees right now. Let's get to about 120. That is hot. Like, literally, that is hot. Grab a piece of food. Bam. Now our water's a little low, but that's fine. I just want to get our health up slightly more. 97 degrees. That's better. And now we should be able to teleport through this room. If I can find my teleporter. There it is. Uh, look at my aim a little bit better. There we are. We're set. I would hate to see what happens if you teleport yourself right into the middle of those two doors. My head would probably explode and we'd die. How much, how much space? 680 feet until we get back. Something I like, I would have liked to see in this game is instead of having to trek back through everything, I would appreciate it instead if you could just like, you know, I don't know how to say it, like almost just teleport back. If there was like a little unit that you would find that's like go straight back to the surface, Unless, unless you find a lot of new things on the way back, or the way back is significantly different than the way up, then I think it's a waste. I'm not a huge fan of having to retrace my steps. I think that's one of the reasons I hated Legend of Zelda way back in the day. All it was was me going back and forth through different places. 
Oh, here we go. We're leaving the area again. And we easily have enough tower parts at this point. I am sure of it. We have enough tower parts and we have the energy source. But, man, we still have a big area to, tr to just trounce through. More forward vector. We've read all this. All right, let's head upwards. Get the hell out of here. Return to the ice pit. We've done that. Now the forward vector is a climb up straight up. Man, these forward vectors are getting really specific. I like that. Please, keep it up with the forward vectors. I have enough trouble as it is wandering all over Tarnation just to try and find out what we're supposed to do next. Also, this is... Man, I don't know. This is... A pretty impressive story for a game. I do enjoy it. I mean, the cl there is maybe some cliche to it. You know, an advanced race playing God against a lesser race. It's really going to depend on where all this goes. Because I do have a lot of unanswered questions. And I'm sure you guys do as well. About exactly what in the hell is going on in this friggin' place. What now? There's our TVs. Were all those TVs there before, guys? I don't know. I kind of feel like they were. All right, let's keep on here. Move past all this couple of bear traps. Ooh, we've got another save area. Let's abuse that to all hell. 1,100 feet until we reach the next area. Okay. Keep on, keep on going. We are... These are the ice caves again. I have to watch out too because eventually, remember, there were caves that if you had... Your torch out would explode on you. Oh, I hear some water again. Let's grab it if, whenever you can. Whenever. Ugh, come on, get get up there, man. Yes, I know you're a spry individual. I don't really remember your name too much, but whoever you are, you are a spry individual. Get that. Get on up there and get those get those sips of sweet, delicious tap water. Well, I guess it's more like like Coors Coors Light. It says this is truly from the mountains. The mountains of Colorado, water just sprinkling down. Ugh, we're so tired. One of the great benefits I definitely believe is important and I would highly suggest to get was this, this sprint increase. Whoa, oh, there's the little stabby guys. We are in the stabby chamber. Oh, sprint past it all, man. Yes, we got there. Was the benefit to the sprint. We got like a 15% bonus to our sprint speed. And I'm really glad to have picked that up because everything else was kind of just like resistance to heat, resistance to cold, which would have been good as well. But if you notice, we spend a lot of time sprinting, especially when part of the part of the game is just going back to where you came from. So it's like you're hoofing it the whole time. And it helps to have that extra 15%, I feel. Take a look around here. I, I hear some additional water dripping down. There it is. Grab this. Man, I, I cannot believe, going back through this, I can't believe how far down we were. Like, we were way down in the, in the underworld. You don't think about it when you're slowly moving through it all, when you're kind of just going through the game. But now that we're done, now that we're heading back out, Jesus. How's our water? Water's fine. There's our buddy again. Why did this happen? Why is this a thing? Oh, let's charge up. Is this on or off? Okay, let's turn that off. Charge this up. Where's the forward vector at? Forward vector, up there. So we have to climb. We have to climb up here somehow. Is that where our... Is that where our thing is? Let me get this a little bit more. Oh, what is this? So, we got a transmission coming in. Most of the decks have turned on each other now. Hoarding food. The hydroponics lab is all but shut down. We're running out of water. Base is right outside, waiting. We can't survive out here. The fuel will only last us days, maybe hours. Then we're trapped. Trapped for good. Solus 3, we need you to do this. We need you to finish your job. 
The signal from the satellite suggests you might still be alive. But I don't know if I can trust it. I don't know. I'm still alive! I'm go oh, it's right there! I'm coming, Samantha! That's her name now. I, I don't I don't even know if she ever gave us a name. I'm coming, Samantha! I've got it! I've got all the pieces of the puzzle right here! They're all on me. Okay, the forward vector. Let's put all this crap together. Here we go. More tower parts. How many do we need? Yes. Yes, we have just enough tower parts. Oh, <laughs> lucky me! I don't know. I don't know if the game gives you just enough. Here we go. This is it. The final source. Satellite uplink. Do your job. Let them know I'm alive. Let them know there's a world out there. The transmitter's in range. What do we have to do? Oh, we have, do we have to go over here? Oh, do I? Oh, I just click on it. Yes! Play the music of power! Ah-ha-ha! <laughs> ah! Oh, we are the best. We are the greatest. We are the most powerful. We've done it. The human race is ours. You know what they're going to name the human race now? They're going to name it after us, boys. It's going to be the YouTube race of ultimate greatness. And what? Okay. I'm, I'm back. Phone home. Oh, epic cutscene. Let's hope this works. Out of entanglement. Don't fail me now. Come on, baby. Hello. Can anybody read me? This is Octavius Sken with the Solus 3 detachment on Glee 6143C. Octavius? Can anybody hear me? Did somebody say something? Yes. Hello, this is Analyst Sken from Solus 3. Do you read me? Samantha, it's us! Sken? From Solus 3? Yes, it's me. Thank God. It's Sken. I'm alive. Oh. My God. Oh my God. I think it's Solus 3. I think they're recording it. Sken. Sken, it's good to hear from you. <laughs> What's your I'm okay. I'm okay. The planet is okay. I'm transferring you data now. But listen, I don't know how much time I have. I'm not alone here. The rest of the team are with you? Uh, no, no. They didn't make it. They're all gone. Listen, I've been here for countless days, and I've been finding things. Signs of life. Civilization. Things are alive on this planet. Whoa, whoa. Slow down. Can you repeat that? I crash landed here days ago. We were hit by something in orbit. I've been finding signs of life, potentially hostile. Alien life? So Gliath can support life. <laughs> well. Yes, it can. I'm sending you the data now, but please listen to me. There is life, possibly even more advanced than us. I don't know if they're trying to help me or harm me. There are traps, sacrificial chambers, signs of genocide. But I found an alternative. Another planet which is closer to you, possibly safe. The coordinates are 3 KPC. What is that? What is that? Can you hear me? No! No, this can't be happening. Can you hear me? No, Samantha! Oh, you guys. If I had a knife on me, I'd shank you. this what you want you've been most helpful what are you no you son of a bitch okay what the hell oh what is this we're gonna be turned into liquid nutrients uh oh my god I think I I think I wasn't kidding it's soylent green for real guys Ah. Don't be afraid. Uh, yeah. Shimmering 
Define. Define safe. Wait. No. All right. Back to sleep. No, Samantha! I don't get it. They're so civilized. Or not civilized. They're so advanced. Why would they need me to do the uplink? It doesn't make any sense. Here, cut. Is this their saucer? Is this their flying saucer? What is it doing? It better not blow up Solus 3. There's the planet. Looking beautiful. I gotta tell you, I'm pretty sure that they ripped off that that design from when Mars attacks. No, that's it! You gotta be kidding me! What happens? Okay, I guess we have to look through the, the credits and maybe there's a dis additional information or something. So here we are. The Solus Project. We went through hell and back. I mean, literally, we went through hell. We went through just areas that were hundreds and hundreds of degrees we went through areas that were minus hundreds of degrees starvation dehydration giant spiky creatures that were stabbing us from the ceiling flamethrowers from the ground bear traps booby traps more turrets lava i mean everything you can possibly have firestorms Lightning bolts, tornadoes, <sighs> and this is this is what we get for it. Did we doom the human race? The human race was doomed anyway, though. If we didn't find a planet, we were all gonna die. So, the real question is, what what does it all mean? Is this going to be one of those open-ended games where it's like you know? Whatever happened is actually up to you. You know, what does it mean? Are you, are the humans actually going to be taken good care of? Or is this spaceship just heading out to slaughter everyone and turn them into protein soup? And that's it. I don't know. We're just, it's just kind of blinking here. Special thanks to Epic Games. Is there anything else we can do? Well, I can continue. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and call that a wrap then. Oh, it's fading away. There we go. Crap. Oh, crap. Jeez. That's it, guys. That's the end of the Soulless Project. Well, for this one, it was definitely more of the journey rather than the, the, the destination. It was a fun game, and I did have a great time, and I hope that everyone who watched the series from the beginning to the end enjoyed it as well because there's one thing I noticed not many people have played this series from start to finish that's for sure so until the next time let me know what you thought of it stay foxy and much love